I was thinking about the last match and I was wondering, would it have been better to kill his skin render in response to equipping um, when he had the sort of body and mind out? And yes, he would have been able to attack for four and get ten cards in my library and a 2-2 two -two wolf. But, you know, I can just kill his 4-4 or his four -four flyer of a craft guy. And I have Rustic for that as well. Um, the skin render really gave me trouble. So I wonder if it would have been better because he was kind of mana screwed to just say, you know, I think I can beat him without these 10 cards. I don't know. But we're on round two. Um, leave me what you think in the comments. Also, this is another good time. Uh, if you're watching this, you're probably one of my subscribers since you're watching round two. Um, I'm, once I hit 200 subscribers, I want to do something really new and revolutionary. Um, kind of off of Chapin's uh, whole idea of the hive mind. And what are we doing? We are playing last. I don't think I'm going to mow this. Um, so I would like to invest invest in you guys and do and build like a standard deck um, where I don't know. We I I release a video every day or not every day every week and we vote on what cards should be added to the deck. Some sort of thing like that. I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but I'd like some input on how to make a hive mind like standard deck. So basically, I release a video and um, I say, hey, what do you want out of the deck? And then you say, hey, I want to play Baneslayer Angel. Okay. We add that to the list of standard cards we want to play. Maybe I'm not making sense, so maybe I'll release a video about it. Um, but here I think I'm just going to play this. That way I can, well, I'm not going to be able to barb out your whip next turn. So maybe I should play a replica. Just play the defensive game. Huh. I mean, these are just going to straight trade straight up, I think. No, I think it's still better to play this. And I can draw equipment for all I know. His deck is really good. I scouted. It's seriously poison dot deck. I don't know if he has... Um, what's it called? Untamed Might, because I didn't see, but I'm just basically going to try to not allow any poison to get on me as best as I can. So these will trade. Um, I guess it might even be better to just do this. Let's see what he plays here. If he plays a haste, dude, we obviously, okay. Angler. Hmm, interesting. I just slag. Um, it's probably going to force us to block. I really think we need play this. The way we can start getting our wolf tokens. I'll block here, get rid of one of the counters. So really if he attacks with this, he's only going to be able to put one on there. We can get in two poison here, which I guess is fine. 
here is where I immediately block. Let's see. Um, block here, block here, or I can just block here and put a counter on there. I guess that's fine. No. I'm definitely blocking and putting a minus one minus one counter on there. Question is, do I want to block differently? No, I think this is the best way to block. I don't think one poison is going to kill us. This effectively gets rid of one of his creatures. Sort of, I guess. I don't have any cats, unfortunately. Kitty cat. So I would have to take another poison to risk. Or I can play it safe and just play Replica. It's pretty clear he has got Carrying Call here, so I think I'm just going to play this. That way, if I ever draw a link, play this and this. I don't know, that could be wrong. He obviously has clearing hole here. So I'm definitely not swinging into that. Yep. So he attacks. I guess I should have killed this somehow. I don't know. I might be playing this all wrong. Go ahead and have six. There's no reason not to. Um, I'm definitely going to block. Alright. I guess that's fine. I really want to draw land here. Land? Yes. Alright. Six. Alright, so the plan now. Yep. Block here, block here. Alright, well. Yeah. Even still, I think we block. We gotta just get rid of the poison. The lifelink is gonna be no net legible. All right. Well, I guess that works. If he attacks, I'll probably just block here. See a reason why not to. May have an answer, may not. Who knows? If he doesn't, sweet, he does not. Okay. Value. <laughs> Um, I think here we play a trainee. We're definitely not playing a hawk. And get in with our value. Doesn't have really. Well, you can block, 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 six, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crap. 
really need to start like if he doesn't swing all here that'd be really bad for us so if we ever draw a land we have to kill this angler priority number one because really this this turning has to go this box, this box, this box, this box. Swing in for five, six, seven. Even if he has a haste guy. If he has a haste guy, we just win or lose. He just wins. Okay. I can keep up with cats. <laughs> okay, cat. Alright, so as I said, we get rid of the angler here. And pass. You make a dude, sure. Going to keep making cats. I will block. <laughs> That's a black mamba. No more lands. I guess it's okay though. I guess it should be attacking. Does have flying? I know. <laughs> um, he has slicing twin though. It just dies. I'd rather not risk that. Um, why don't we instead? The dark still set in the end of turn. Yeah, that seems effective. Because then I can pick it up with Glint Hawk. I'm completely winning the cat race. <laughs> As opposed to a rat race. Alright, what is he playing for one mana? What is he doing? Okay. Is he playing this? Hmm. <laughs> Don't know if I blocked or not. Well, clearly, clearly I block here, block here, and probably just block here. Yeah. No reason not to. Let me regen. Rest. That seems like a good card. <laughs> 